सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर क्लास ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन इन टूडे सेशन गाइज विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द पी आई बी न्यूज फ्रॉम फिफ्थ टू सेवेंथ ऑफ मे टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड आई होप गाइज योर प्रिपरेशन आर अगर आप लोगों को कोई डाउट है रिगार्डिंग एनी थिंग यू गाइज कैन आस्क मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन और यू गाइज कैन ऑल्सो टॉक टू आर टीम एट द नंबर डबल नाइन डबल नाइन फोर डबल सिक्स डबल टू फाइव राइट सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ टूडेज क्लास एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच से विच सेंट्रल पब्लिक एंटरप्राइजेज ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रेलवे रिसेंटली हैज बिन ग्रांटेड द नवरत्न स्टेटस सो दिस इज अ सी पी एस ई ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रेलवे विच अर्लियर वॉज अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ मिनी रत्ना मिनी रत्ना एंड नाउ इट हैज बिन अपग्रेडेड टू नव रत्न स्टेटस राइट द नेम ऑफ दिस सी पी एस ई गाइज इज रेल विकास निगम लिमिटेड रेल विकास निगम लिमिटेड now why i have picked this question is to tell you that what is the criteria for granting navratna status to any central public cent, uh, center central public sector enterprise theek hai to kya kya criteria hote hain uski baat kar lete hain to first of all uh, the the navratna status is granted to only those cpscs which are already under the mini ratna one schedule a category which are already under the mini ratna schedule a category and have obtained excellent or very good mou rating in 3 of the last 5 years now what is the meaning of mou rating here so whenever a cpsc is formed there are certain mous which are signed between the government and that uh, cpsc and that cpsc uh, you know usko sare jo bhi mou ke vaade hote hain wo pure karne padte hain theek hai they have to complete all the promises which they have mentioned in the mou they have stick to all the targets they have they have to complete all the targets which have been defined in that mou to us mou rating mein bhi excellent ya fir very good hona chahiye pichle 5 mein se 3 saalon right and not only this they should be uh, they should have score of 60 or above out of 100 in the in these indicators and what are these indicators indicators are 6 in number number 1 net profit to net worth which is given 25% weightage मैन पावर कॉस्ट टू टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन और कॉस्ट ऑफ सर्विसेज फिफ्टीन परसेंट वेटेज देन पीबीडीआईटी टू कैपिटल इंप्लॉय पीबीडीआई प्रॉफिट बिफोर डिप्रेसेशन इंटरेस्ट इन टैक्सेस टू कैपिटल इंप्लॉय वेटेज फिफ्टीन परसेंट पीबीआईटी टू टर्न ओवर प्रॉफिट बिफोर इंटरेस्ट इन टैक्सेस अर्निंग पर शेयर एंड इंटर सेक्टोरल परफॉर्मेंस ठीक है सो दीज आर समर इंडिकेटर्स बेस्ड ऑन विच बेस्ड ऑन द स्कोर ऑफ विच द नवरत्न स्टेटस is granted right now what are the benefits of granting the navratna status now since uh, rail vikas nigam limited has the status to kya fayda usko so number one they will enjoy they can enjoy such cpscs can enjoy greater financial and operational freedom when compared to the companies with mini ratna status pehli baat to ye ho gayi dusri cheez ye hai that they can invest up to rupees 1000 crore or 15% of their net worth on a single project without seeking any kind of approval or permission from the government of india right and not only this they can even make investment up to 30% of their net worth but up to only maximum 1000 crores without any permission without seeking any permission from the government of india all right so these are some of the benefits of uh, having the navratna status all right and as i already told you the answer the correct answer to this question is rail vikas nigam limited all right i hope this is clear question number 2 Where is India's first international multimodal logistic park being set up under the ambitious Bharat Mala Parijana? This we have discussed so many times, but अभी भी ये news में है, so that's why मैंने सोचा कि इसको ले लेना चाहिए। कहाँ पे बन रहा है इंडिया का पहला international multimodal logistic park? It is being constructed. It is being built in Jogi Ghopa in Assam. Jogi Ghopa in Assam, and it is being constructed under the Bharat Mala Parijana, right? Bharat Mala Parijana के अंदर ये बन रहा है। एंड इसको कौन बना रहा है द नोडल इम्प्लीमेंट द नोडल एजेंसी फॉर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग इट फॉर डेवलपिंग इट इज द नेशनल हाईवे एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन लिमिटेड राइट एंड ऑल्सो रिमेंबर दैट इट इज बीइंग डेवलप्ड इन 317 एकर लैंड अलोंग विच रिवर ऑफ कोर्स इट मस्ट बी ब्रह्मपुत्र रिवर राइट गंगा तो हो नहीं सकती यमुना हो नहीं सकती सो ब्रह्मपुत्र रिवर ऑल राइट नाउ इट विल बी कनेक्टेड दिस पार्क विल बी कनेक्टेड टू रोल टू रोड रेल एयर एंड वाटर वेस ठीक है चारों मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट यहाँ पे दिए जाएंगे वन फिफ्टी फोर किलोमीटर रोड बिटवीन जोगी गोपा एंड गुवाहाटी थ्री किलोमीटर रेल लाइन बिटवीन जोगी गोपा रेलवे स्टेशन टू द पार्क थ्री किलोमीटर रेल लिंक टू द इनलैंड वाटर ट्रांसपोर्ट ताकि वहां से वाटर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन हो सके एंड फोर लेन रोड विल बी देयर दैट विल बी कनेक्टिंग टू द न्यूली डेवलप्ड रूपसी एयरपोर्ट राइट 
and this park of course will have various facilities like warehouse railway siding cold storage custom clearance house yard facility jo bhi required hota hai everything will be there theek hai so that is all about it and where it is being constructed it is being constructed in assam in jogi gopa option d is the correct answer let's talk about question number 3 then important question hai which integrated app for geo special data and agriculture was inaugurated during national conference on agriculture for kharif campaign 2023 Very strange thing is that कि इस ऐप के बारे में कोई ज्यादा डिटेल उन्होंने नहीं बताई बस एक लाइन मैंशन थी पी आई बी में दैट द मिनिस्टर ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर मिस्टर नरेंद्र सिंह तोमर हैज इनग्रेटेड दिस ऐप विच विल विच विल बी एन इंटीग्रेटेड ऐप फॉर कलेक्टिंग जियो स्पेशल डेटा इन एग्रीकल्चर ठीक है इतना ही इंफॉर्मेशन मिला है इस कॉन्फ्रेंस में राइट द नेम ऑफ द ऐप इज कृषि मैपर द नेम ऑफ द ऐप इज कृषि मैपर राइट but not only this there are certain uh, certain important uh, takeaways from this national conference and the targets some targets have been set up for total food gain production pulses production and other targets for the upcoming kharif season right and these targets are important for your exam okay so total food gain production target is 3320 3, lakh tons 3320 lakh ton ka target hai pulses production target is 292.5 lakh ton which is higher As compared to the previous financial year, that was 278.1 lakh tons. Okay, the oil seed production ka target has been increased to 440 lakh tons from 400 lakh tons in previous financial year, and total Sri Anna production. Of course, abhi tak aap sabko pata chal gaya hoga that Sri Anna means what millets. Sri Anna means what millets. So total total uh, millets production target has been increased to 170 lakh tons from the previous 159.1 lakh tons right and during the conference guys there is one uh, program which was discussed special mustard program which was initiated during the 2020 2021 rabi season right and this was discussed because of its huge success due to this program in this rabi season mustard production jumped by 40% from 91.24 to 128.18 lakh tons in the last 3 years right and its productivity the mustard productivity has also been increased by 11% from 31331 to 1447 kg per hectare right an area under rape seed and mustard has been enhanced by 29% so this that is why this program was discussed because of its huge success right so that is all about this news and the name of the app all i already told you krishi mapper is the correct answer question number 4 Ministry of Fisheries Animal Husbandry and Dairying in collaboration with which ministry has launched the nationwide AHDF KCC campaign for 2324 what is AHDF Animal Husbandry and Dairy Farmers and KCC of course means Kisan Credit Card now of course as the name uh, says this campaign has been organized to distribute to you know uh, increase the uh, you know increase the landscape of kisan credit card among the animal husbandry and dairy farmers right to give the benefits of kisan credit cards to the animal husbandry and dairy farmers this campaign has been launched previously this campaign was launched in the month of november 2021 and now it has been launched for this financial year the duration will be first may 2023 to 31st march 2024 and it will of course as i told you it will expand the benefit of kisan credit card to all the eligible animal husbandry dairy and fishery farmers right and this campaign uh, will be organized by the department of animal husbandry and dairying department of fisheries in collaboration with the department of financial services which works under the ministry of finance all right so what would be the correct answer then option c ministry of finance very surprising answer but yes that is the correct one question number 5 How much total coal production target has been set by the Ministry of Coal in its action plan for the financial year 23-24? So the Ministry of Coal uh, has released its action plan for financial year 23-24, and various targets have been set. Number one, total coal production target is 1012 million tons for this financial year. 1012 million tons का coal produce किया जाएगा. Then outsourcing uh, outsourcing of mines will be done to increase coal production of Coal India Limited mines or blocks. and discontinued or abandoned mines jitne bhi uh, hamare cil a mines ya blocks hai uski outsourcing ki jayegi taki coal production badhaya ja sake aur jitne bhi abandoned mines hai unko dobara se start kiya ja sake right coking coal strategy has been formulated in this action plan and it will enhance the coking coal availability in the country so that we can reduce the imports of the coking coal right 
and for quality of coal for improved quality of coal third party sampling agencies will be engaged for both power and non power coal consumers so that we can uh, achieve the supply of quality coal to all the potential customers right not the potential not only the potential customers but to all the customers to all the consumers okay and the capex target capital expenditure target for this financial year is 21030 crores and the overall target of asset monetization for financial year 23 24 is rupees 50000 crores all right so yeah that is all about it let's come back to the question how much total coal production target has been set so that's 1012 million tons option a is the correct answer let's talk about question number 6 then where has ministry of uh, micro small and medium enterprises headed by narayan rane has organized bizamp which is uh, for amplifying business of northeastern region to empower msmes from the northeastern states and amplifying their businesses utilizing benefits under sri fund which is self reliant india fund so this is something new which we are going to discuss today so bizamp which is amplifying business of northeast region it was organized by the ministry of msme in dimapur and dimapur is in nagaland of course the objective of this bizamp was to empower msmes from the northeastern region states and amplifying their businesses utilizing benefits from the self reliant india fund or sri fund theek hai sri fund ke bare mein padhenge don't worry first of all itna samjho that sri fund belongs to nsic venture capital fund limited right uh, in association with which ministry of msme organized this bizamp right it was this bizamp was organized by ministry of msme in collaboration with nsic venture capital fund uh, jiska sri fund hai right now it is the first of its kind outreach program in the northeast region of the country focused upon maximizing the capital benefits through the nsic venture capitalist sri fund right and it will also provide a platform for the impaneled daughter funds of sri fund to reach the msmes in the northeastern region sri fund is a bigger fund and there are various daughter funds under it okay now what is this self reliant india fund first of all remember the total corpus is 10006 crores nodal ministry for it is ministry of msme and of course as i already told you it is being managed by nv cfl right and what type of fund it is it is an investment uh, alternative investment fund and it is providing growth capital to msmes through equity cosi equity equity like structured instrument theek hai paisa deta hai ye msme ko in short uh, for their growth capital theek hai ji so that is all about it uh, so where did it take place it take place it took place in dimapur option c is the correct answer and self reliant india fund yaad rakhna that's very very important let's move ahead to the questions in short but uh, before that if you want to have the pdf of this class you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description and if you want to ace the examination this years so we have launched a crash course uh, uh, with the help of which you can ace this examination this crash course consists of the entire course content everything will be provided to you with exclusive mentorship sessions every weekends right and yeah of course mock test will also be provided to you 10 mock test each for phase 1 and phase 2 theek hai so if you want to have it you can visit to the website anujjindal.in let's talk about question number 7 a consignment of 1000 metric uh, tons of cement was recently flagged off from samya prasad mukherjee airport uh, not airport port kolkata as the inaugural shipment to operationalize sitwe port so where is sitwe port located so this question can be asked sitwe port is located in myanmar in myanmar option d is the correct answer okay and it is the part of kaladan project uh, of india and myanmar option d is the correct answer india health dialogue has been launched to build robust ecosystem to revolutionize health and healthcare sector for the future it is a global initiative of dash in partnership with icmr and ima indian medical association and icmr is what indian council of medical research so it is a global initiative of india chamber of business and commerce option e is the correct answer all right question number 9 which of the following agencies has organized the waste to wealth ideation hackathon for undergraduate and above students to solve the real world waste management challenges right kaun si agency ne isko organize kiya hai so it was organized by cpcb which is central pollution control board option b is the correct answer question number 10 which festival of innovation in arts has been launched by startup 20 atal innovation mission 
कंट्रोलर जनरल ऑफ पेटेंट डिजाइन कंट्रोलर जनरल ऑफ पेटेंट डिजाइन एंड ट्रेडमार्क्स एंड पंडित जसराज कल्चरल फाउंडेशन सो यू जस्ट हैव टू नेम दिस फेस्टिवल एक्चुअली यू हैल द नेम ऑफ दिस फेस्टिवल द नेम ऑफ द फेस्टिवल इज उपच ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड इट वॉज द फेस्टिवल ऑन इनोवेशन इन आर्ट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन विच यूनिवर्सिटी विल बी होस्टिंग द वाई ट्वेंटी सेमिनार ऑन शेयर फ्यूचर यूथ इन डेमोक्रेसी एंड गवर्नेंस वन ऑफ द फाइव थीम्स ऑफ द वाई ट्वेंटी इंडिया समिट राइट एंड वाई ट्वेंटी द नोडल मिनिस्ट्री विल बी द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट हेडेड बाई अनुराग सिंह ठाकुर राइट एंड या सो दिस यूनिवर्सिटी इज मणिपुर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर India's overall coal production has been uh, has seen a quantum jump to dash in financial year 22-23 as compared to this much in financial year 2018-2019. इस तरीके के क्वेश्चन एग्जाम में आ जाते हैं तो इसलिए ये मत सोचना कि ये यूं ही मैं डाल रहा हूँ just for the time pass. These questions are not for time pass. I am not here to you know uh, pass my time or your times. ठीक है? So this has seen a quantum jump to 893.08 million tons in financial year 23. Option B is the correct answer. Question number thirteen. According to the health ministry, uh, the number of total organ transplants in the country has substantially increased from less than five thousand in twenty thirteen to more than what in twenty twenty two. Now this is directly related to the social issues part of your subject, economic and social issues. So the correct answer is fifteen thousand from less than five thousand in twenty thirteen to more than fifteen thousand in two thousand twenty two. तो क्या हम ये कह सकते हैं कि पिछले नौ सालों में इंसानियत बढ़ गई है आई डोंट नो सरकार क्या कहना चाहती है लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टुडे विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और उससे पहले कभी इंसानियत थी नहीं हमारे देश में एनी वेज लेट्स नॉट गो इन टू दिस विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज लिस्टेड इट्स ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स ऑफ यूएस डॉलर सेवन मिलियन एट गिफ्ट आई स्टॉक एक्सचेंजेस ठीक है द करेक्ट आंसर गाइज टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज आर लिमिटेड ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर राइट so that's all for today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless